I want to introduce you to two wonderful little boys, Sam and Sam. Both Sams are six years old. They both live in Yorkshire with their mums and dads. Sam and Sam have something else in common. They both face challenges in their daily lives because they were born with rare genetic conditions. This Sam was born with Morkio disease, a condition that leads to progressive physical disability, reduced endurance and complications of the major organs. Morkio disease can affect many different parts of the body, including heart, lungs and skeleton. It causes sight, hearing and dental complications. Most affected children will grow no taller than one meter by the time they are adults. Most children and young adults with Morkio disease need to use walking aids or wheelchairs. If left untreated, average life expectancy is around 25 years. This Sam was born with tuberous sclerosis complex, or TSC for short. TSC can lead to the growth of tumors in different organs of the body, including the brain, heart, eyes, skin, kidneys, and lungs. Tumors in the brain can cause epilepsy, learning disabilities, challenging behavior, and autism. Life expectancy can be considerably shortened by complications such as kidney failure. Let's find out more about our Sam's. What's your favorite dinner? Sandwiches! Chili. What's your favorite animal? What's your best day out? Fighting centre. Going to the park. Our two Sams are both little boys that have different characters and different needs. But they both do excellent dinosaur impressions. They both love the parents that are fighting for their treatment. And they have one very big problem in common. The NHS is not funding the medicines that their doctors would like to prescribe for them. This isn't because the NHS has said the medicines are too expensive. It isn't because there is any question about how effective the medicines will be. The body with the power to decide, NHS England, is experiencing delays in its work, and it's not known whether or when it will pass judgment on the medicines our two Sams need. In the meantime, around 200 children and adults are left to wait some of whom have already been waiting two years for treatment they so desperately need. And all that time, their health has been needlessly deteriorating. No one with a rare condition must be put at risk by slow or inefficient processes. The MPS Society and the Tuberous Sclerosis Association are calling upon the government to introduce interim policies to help preserve health and life while NHS England evaluates these much-needed medicines. Support the TSA and MPS Society. Please write to your MP and ask them to raise this matter with the Minister for Health. Share this video. Thank you.